Hey, this is Matt from Investaquant. I want to take a moment here and show you one of my favorite new features here in Discover. Now, if you haven't used Discover before, you're not real familiar with what the platform is. The platform does all kinds of things, but the key aspect of it is code-free backtesting. So with just a few clicks, you can create strategies, you can save strategies, you can even be alerted on the strategies that you create. And then there's a new feature here that I'm going to show you in just a moment that I just absolutely love. But before we get to that, let me show you how to build a few strategies here just real quickly and show you how easy it is. So let's say that it is the week of FOMC and we want to look at a few different days that go along with the FOMC. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a quick strategy for the day before the FOMC announcement. I've got the S&P selected here. This first setup is going to be based upon a 30 minute low fade. So that's going to be entering long on a retest of the 30 minute low made in the first 30 minutes of trading. So let me go ahead and set that up. I'm going to select an exit using the five day ATR of a target of 60% of the five day ATR and a stop of 40% of the five day ATR. And this is going to be something very simple. I'm just going to go into the opening filters. I'm going to say that it needs to gap up on that day. And then I'm going to go into the market events section. And I'm going to say that it needs to specifically be the day before the FOMC announcement. So let me hit equals there uh, on day before FOMC announcement. That sets up the test. And now I can click view results. And here we can see the results for buying a 30 minute low fade with a 40% stop, 60% target when you gap up on the day before the FOMC announcement. Now I can refine this a little bit and make it um, a little bit better, but for the sake of this video, we're gonna leave it just as is. I'm gonna go over here and click this save strategy button. I'm gonna save this as day before FOMC and I'm gonna hit save. This is gonna save it into my strategies folder. So that's something that's really important. You can save all of your work as you're doing work within the Discover platform and creating strategies. Now next, let's say I want a strategy for the day of the FOMC announcement. So what I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna say, I wanna fade gaps at the open on the FOMC announcement day in a bullish environment. So I'm going to hit ES here for the instrument. The setup's gonna be based upon fading the open. So I'm gonna hit fade for the trade type and the setup is the open. And then I'm gonna go into the exit and I'm gonna say that the target is the prior day close. I'm gonna throw a stop on it. I'm gonna use 40% for this one. And then I'm gonna go into the opening filters and say, if I'm gonna be fading these gaps, I only wanna fade the ones that open within the prior day range. So in the opening filters, I'm gonna go opening area and click equals next to open and prior day range. These tend to be some of the better gaps to fade. So I've got that added. Next, I'm going to say it needs to be at least a somewhat bullish market environment. So I'm going to go to the indicators. And I'm going to say I want this to be above a 200 day simple moving average. Let me click above uh, 200 day here and that will add it to uh, the test. And then lastly, I'm going to say this is specifically going to be on the FOMC announcement day. So in the market events section, I'm going to click on market events, and then I'm going to find FOMC announcement from our long list of market events that we have available. I'm going to hit equals here, and that will add it to the test. Now I can click view results for this strategy. Instantly, I've got my results. Again, this looks pretty good. Can it be improved? Sure, it can be improved, but for simplicity's sake, I'm gonna leave it right here as is. I'm gonna save this one again, and I'm gonna call this one FOMC Day. Then I'm gonna click Save Strategy. Once again, now I've got a new strategy in my strategies folder that will be up here. We'll take a look at that in just a second. And then one more, let's say the day after the FOMC announcement. That's another thing that we can test within Discover. Let's say that I only want to fade gaps in the bullish scenarios of uh, the day after the FOMC announcement. So if there's like a, a really bullish FOMC announcement day and we're, we're continuing higher in the overnight session, maybe that's a good environment to be fading gaps. So let me go ahead and set this one up. ES is the instrument again, the setup intraday open. We're going to be fading again. So I've got fade there. The exit for this Again, we'll go with a 40 gap fill. So this is going to be looking for a reversion back to the prior day closing price. And for this one, I want it to be only up gaps when you're gapping above the prior week high. So that's kind of a unique uh, scenario there. I'm going to go in the opening areas. I'm going to find open above prior week high by scrolling down in our long list of opening areas that we've got um, available to look from. 
and I've got open above prior week high. I'm going to hit equals there, and that creates this opening filter location here. And then lastly, I'm going to go back down to this market events and say I only want to be doing this on the day after the FOMC announcement. So as you can see, market events, we've got day before, we've got day of, and we also have day after. I'm going to go to day after FOMC announcement, hit equals, and then I can click view results. And once again, instant results show up. This one looks pretty good. Not a huge sample size, but looks pretty good. Again, it can be improved upon, but I don't need to for this example. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit save strategy here and call this one day after FOMC. Then I'm gonna click save strategy. All right, now I've just created three strategies in a matter of just a couple minutes here. And now I'm going to go into the strategies folder by clicking strategies up here. And you're going to see in the strategies folder, this is where all of your strategies are saved. You can see I've got quite a list down here, 186 of them within this folder. And these are the three that I just created. So we've got the day after FOMC. FOMC day and day before FOMC. If I come over to this magnifying glass, I can see the results for any of these individual strategies here and I can kind of just scroll through them. So that's one we just created. Uh, this will be the FOMC day strategy and then this will be the day before the FOMC day strategy. All of those look pretty good. None of them are perfect on their own, but they all look pretty solid. But what I'd really like to know is what do they look like together? Well, with this new feature that we have, the combine button right here, you can combine any number of strategies that you have saved. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these three strategies that I just created with you by clicking on this checkbox here, combine. There's the day after the FOMC. You see it show up over here on the right hand side. Now I'm going to click on FOMC day. That adds it as well. And now day before FOMC day. So here's three strategies. They, it just added all of them over here to the right hand side. And now I can click view combined results. When you click on view combined results, it's going to take all three of those strategies, combine it into a single strategy, and you'll be able to see the results of trading all of them kind of as a portfolio. So when you do that, you can see we get much larger sample sizes here and the stats are all combined. The equity curve here looks great compared to any of those three individual ones. The stats um, are all combined as well. So now you've got um, a strategy here that trades just a few different days, three different days during this FOMC announcement week, which happens, you know, every six weeks or so. So it's not something you think of every day, but you can put them together and kind of consider this your FOMC announcement announcement week strategy and you can see the results that are combined. Uh, you can scroll down, you can see all of the different stats that go along with it. You can see the different yearly results as well, the monthly results. We've got the last 10 trades over here as well. But this is a really cool feature that I'm excited about where you can combine the strategies of um, any number of strategies that you create and make it a single kind of combined portfolio. So I hope you guys found that interesting. I look forward to uh, hearing how you guys like it. And again, that's found within the strategies section here in Discover. If you guys got any questions, you can reach out to me, matt at investaquant.com. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Good luck, and we'll see you next time.